Thus Spoke Zarathustra by Friedrich Nietzsche Translated by Walter Kaufman Book 2 The Tomb Song There is the Isle of Tombs, the Silent Isle. There, too, are the tombs of my youth. There I wish to carry an evergreen wreath of life. Resolving this in my heart, I crossed the sea. O oh, you visions and apparitions of my youth! O oh, all you glances of love, you divine moments! How quickly you died! Today I recall you like dead friends. From you, my dearest friends among the dead, a sweet scent comes to me, loosening heart and tears. Verily, it perturbs and loosens the heart of the lonely seafarer. I am still the richest and most enviable, I, the loneliest. For once I possessed you, and you still possess me. Say, to whom fell, as to me, such rose apples from the bough? I am still the heir of your love and its soil flowering in remembrance of you with motley wild virtues, O oh, you most loved ones. Alas, we were fashioned to remain close to each other, you fair and strange wonders. And you came to me and my craving, not like shy birds, but like trusting ones to him who trusts. Indeed, fashioned for loyalty, like myself, and for tender eternities. I must now call you after your disloyalty, you divine glances and moments. I have not yet learned any other name. Verily, you have died too soon for me, you fugitives. Yet you did not flee from me, nor did I flee from you. We are equally innocent in our disloyalty. To kill me, they strangled you, songbirds of my hopes. Indeed, after you, my dearest friends, malice has ever shot its arrows. To hit my heart, and it hit. For you have always been closest to my heart, my possession, and what possessed me. That is why you had to die young and all too early. The arrow was shot at my most vulnerable possession, at you, whose skin is like down and even more like a smile that dies of a glance. But this word I want to speak to my enemies. What is all murder of human beings compared to that which you have done to me? What you have done to me is more evil than any murder of human beings. You have taken from me the irretrievable. Thus I speak to you, my enemies. For you murdered the visions and dearest wonders of my youth. My playmates you took from me, the blessed spirits. In their memory I lay down this wreath and this curse, this curse against you, my enemies, for you have cut short my eternal bliss as a tone that breaks off in a cold night, scarcely as the gleam of divine eyes it came to me, passing swiftly as a glance. Thus spoke my purity once in a fair hour, all beings shall be divine to me. Then you assaulted me with filthy ghosts. Alas, where has this fair hour fled now? All days shall be holy to me. Thus said the wisdom of my youth once. Verily, it was the saying of a gay wisdom. But then you, my enemies, stole my nights from me and sold them into sleepless agony. Alas, where has this gay wisdom fled now? Once I craved happy omens from the birds. Then you led a monster of an owl across my way, a revolting one. Alas, where did my tender desire flee then? All nausea I once vowed to renounce. Then you changed those near and nearest me into putrid boils. Alas, where did my noblest vow flee then? I once walked as a blind man along blessed paths. Then you threw filth in the path of the blind man, and now his old footpath nauseates him. 
And when I did what was hardest for me and celebrated the triumph of my overcomings, then you made those who loved me scream that I was hurting them most. Verily, this was always your practice. You galled my best honey and the industry of my best bees. To my charity you always dispatched the most impudent beggars. Around my pity you always pushed the incurably shameless. Thus you wounded my virtue in its faith. And whenever I laid down for sacrifice even what was holiest to me, your quote, piety, immediately placed its fatter gifts alongside. And in the fumes of your fat, what was holiest to me, suffocated. And once I wanted to dance as I had never danced before. Over all the heavens I wanted to dance. Then you persuaded my dearest singer, and he struck up a horrible, dismal tune. Alas, he tooted in my ears like a gloomy horn. Murderous singer, a tool of malice, most innocent yourself. I stood ready for the best dance when you murdered my ecstasy with your sounds. Only in the dance do I know how to tell the parable of the highest things. And now my highest parable remained unspoken in my limbs. My highest hope remained unspoken and unredeemed. And all the visions and consolations of my youth died. How did I endure it? How did I get over and overcome such wounds? How did my soul rise again out of such tombs? Indeed, in me there is something invulnerable and unburiable, something that explodes rock. That is my will. Silent and unchanged, it strides through the years. It would walk its way on my feet, my old will, and its mind is hard of heart and invulnerable. Invulnerable I only in the heel. You are still alive and your old self, most patient one, you have still broken out of every tomb. What in my youth was unredeemed lives on in you. And as life and youth, you sit there, full of hope, on yellow ruins of tombs. Indeed, for me, you are still the shatterer of all tombs. Hail to thee, my will, and only where there are tombs are there resurrections. Thus sang Zarathustra. <laughs>